Hey guys, this is CJ, also known as Siege, in-game. Um, I wanted to demonstrate some of what my bot can do. So, yeah, I'll show you a few voice controls. Uh, start listening. Start listening. Listening. Yeah, not always perfect, but it's never going to be. Um, it's got some basic controls like spawning. Um, spawn one apple. Apple spawned. Pretty basic. It's mine now. Okay. Uh, that's mine. Okay. Destroy it. Destroy it. Spawn one lockbox. Lockbox spawned. Move down point two. Moving. Turn right five. Turn right five. Pitch up ten. Pitch up ten. Roll right five. Roll right five. So we can manipulate it quite a lot. Can also do it very fine. Uh, like, turn left 0.01. Turn left 0.01. See, there's a fraction of a degree. Look at me. Okay. Uh, put it on the ground. Burnable root ground 2 selected. No, put it on the ground. Okay. Destroy it. Destroy it. You'll probably hear quite a few times where it'll get the wrong command. One of the problems with adding a lot of commands and a lot of vocabulary is more chances for it to misunderstand. I, I have some systems in place to try and reduce the chances of that, but it's, yeah, I mean, it's never going to be perfect. Something that's useful is being able to change stats quickly, um, like enable climbing. Climbing enabled. Disable climbing. Climbing disabled. Enable god mode. God mode enabled. Disable God Mode. God Mode Disabled. Um, let's see if I can show you my... Uh, my hunger bar doesn't show up. Hopefully you can see my hunger bar. Feed me. Fed. And if I was damaged, heal me. Would Healed. heal, yeah. As the bot says. Another useful one is being able to change how quickly we move. Uh, set speed 3. Speed 3. Set speed one. Speed one. Yeah. Another useful thing is being able to change time quickly. Um, Eleven o'clock guide. Eleven o'clock. Spooky. Yeah, comes in quite handy. Another thing I like doing is spawning things into my hand. Uh, conjure one katana. Katana spawned. Destroy it. Destroy it. Um, another thing I can do is... Um, actually, let me spawn in a few things. Spawn one backpack. Backpack spawned. Uh, conjure one katana. Katana spawned. Conjure two apples. Apples spawned. Oops, it's mine now. Okay. Okay, hopefully you can see those two items in the bag. Um, nice bag. Bag selected. I have one just like it. There. Uh, another one I added recently. Uh, dash back. Dash. Dash forward. Dash. And can go around a few different directions. Uh, sometimes it's good to be able to know what's happening on the server or in real life. Um, who's online? Who's online? Siege. Chips. What's the time? It's 1.26. Wow, getting late. Uh, something else I have set up is uh, rain attacks. Uh, I think there's explosive poise no no explosive chicken acid crystal and chicken um i'll demonstrate now uh start listening start listening listening explosive rain explosive rain healing rain healing rain there's also storm varieties which are really excessive Healing Rainstorm.
healing rainstorm. Yeah, it's extreme overkill. I've also started setting up other attacks. Poison grenade. Say, detonate grenade. Detonate grenade. Boom. I actually killed myself with that one earlier, trying to test it. Mm, what else? Healing grenade. Say, detonate grenade. Detonate grenade. Boom. Um, one of my favorite ones. Chicken grenade. Chicken grenade. Say, detonate grenade. I'm gonna regret this. Uh, detonate grenade. Detonate grenade. Boom. Go Terra grenade. Say, detonate grenade. Detonate grenade. Boom. Something else I want to do in the future is um, adding more just general chit chat things to the bot that will be taken from one of my other bots. Um, I, I've done a little bit of testing, but not much. Like, start listening. Listening. Say something cool. Ice cream. Damn right. Turn right to. <laughs> Damn wrong. Say something cool. Keanu Reeves. Yeah. Say something intelligent. Action is the real measure of intelligence. Okay, fair enough. What's the first law of robotics? Moving. What's the first law of robotics? A robot may not injure a human being or, through an action, allow a human being to come to harm. I don't know why my mouth is moving. Who's online? Siege. Chips. Stop listening. Not listening. So, something else I set up is subscriptions. So, like if somebody logs in or logs out, the bot will tell me. Um, I'm not going to do it right now, but I can also teleport to people. So the bot automatically gets the names of online players and stores them to a database, and then I can use their names to, to teleport. It's quite useful. Then I don't have to worry about typing their names in. Um, I've added in a few other quality of life features. For example, being able to fix the smelter or chisel deck with commands, uh, which I'm not going to do now. At the request of other people, I've added a few other little things too. Uh, for example, spawn a tiny chicken. Spawned. Don't be fooled, this guy is really dangerous. Destroy it. Destroy it. Spawn a giant chicken. Spawned. And this guy is also dangerous. I think I'm gonna get rid of him real quick. Um, bye buddy. Gliding back aiding. Oh. oh yeah, glide commands. Gliding down six. Glide right 200. Gliding right 200. So I can move objects slowly. So something that was useful is um, being able to set the material before spawn spawning in prefabs. Um, start listening. Listening. Set the material to Valiant. Material set to EV non steel alloy. Yeah, it has aliases too. Conjure one blade two. Blade two spawned. Destroy it. Destroy it. Stop listening. Not listening. So if we want to set it back to whatever the default material is, we do start listening. Listening. Set the material to null. Material set to. Stop listening. Not listening. So yeah, that, that's a nice and simple way. Otherwise you end up with handles looking weird, things like that. So I hope that gives a rough idea of kind of how it is in these early days. 
um, there's suddenly a lot more functionality that I want to add and I have lists and lists of ideas it's just a matter of getting around to them but yeah hopefully maybe somebody sees this and becomes inspired to make their own one I, I really hope so um, it would be nice to see more speech recognition bots in the ATT community um, thanks a lot see you